Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and uh, here today we have the all-new TransTake 210. Uh, this unit, we just got it in, it's a demo unit. Um, I'm really excited because this unit uh, is a 210 amp amperage output, and we're, today we're going to be running on, we're plugged into 110. So, like traditional Ferronius equipment, 110 voltage, 330 feet. Same thing goes for this. So we can run 330 feet of extension cord and still get power output. Pretty awesome. Now what this unit does come with, or in this video we're going to go over what it comes with. We're going to weld with it. We're going to talk about some of the setup on it. It's pretty simple. It's actually pretty cool. Um, it's pretty laid out. Once you get uh, the, the nomenclature figured out, it goes together just fine. So let's dive into what it comes with. Right here we got a 20 amp 110 plug. We got a 220 plug with an adapter also. You can plug that into and you can go to your 230 volt style plug. Comes with your stinger, a nice heavy duty ground, and your TIG torch. Now, remember Fronius has these TIG torch with the amperage control on there. This thing is uh, foot pedal compatible and you can get the torch with the LED light or you can get CK's torch that'll retrofit to this unit. Now on the back side here it comes with a regulator and it comes with a little strap so and then also we got the 110 unit plugged in. So on the back you can see the power button is a nice it's pretty robust. I'm gonna flip it on. Let's see what comes up. Now I had the, the TIG torch all plugged in but it's actually pretty simple to get it out of there. It's just a, like a half twist style. So the gas is fed through the DINS connection. Plug in. We got our trigger switch for our amperage control. We got our ground. Right, so we'll dive into the uh, the setup on this unit. You can see we have the initial current, upslope, main current, downslope, and final current. So, in my previous videos, we went over this. I think I drew a little chart on the videos. We'll link that stuff below. But right now, I am on the main current. This is how you set your amperage output. So, I'm on 110. Maximum output's 170. And that's at 40% duty cycle on 110. But, to get them all lit up, to change them all, you just push that button, lights them all up. So, then you can select which one you want to be in. So, initial, up, main, down, final. And then we get into frequency pulse. I got it off, but we'll click that and then we can turn it on and this thing will DC pulse. Pretty awesome. We'll shut it off here, get out of there. Next one is tack. It has a tack feature so you can turn it on and then you can choose how long you want the initial current to tack. Pretty sweet too. We'll get turned it off. Then we're just back to our initial current. Now this thing has what's called a uh, touch high freak. So come down with your tungsten and touch pull off and it's about one and a half seconds and then a high freak current will initiate the arc. So there's no more scratch start. So it won't get your tungsten potentially stuck to your plate and you gotta pull it off and you goof up your tungsten. It's actually touch, pull up, high freak will start the current. Pretty awesome. Now these are the regular TIG torches that come with them. And on there you can see we got main power and the change in that and we got a plus and minus so we can go up and down with our amperage and we can turn it on turn it off kind of so it's just initiating the arc but this one also like I said has the high freak touch um so let's get some uh stuff laid out I'll get a gas bottle hooked up and we'll try welding with this unit now what what is enticing about this this piece of equipment is I mean it's very light and you can carry it anywhere and you can get the power of 210 amps it's it's amazing. I mean, really, for the weight, you can't beat it. Let me grab some steel, and we'll get back to it. All right, so I got a piece of metal here. We're gonna give this thing a shot. Uh, I got 120 amps. I got it on a four tap trigger, so I don't have to continually hold that. And the and I'll show you how the high freak works. We're not gonna have to touch the piece that actually jumps the arc across. So when I hit that trigger down it's going to stay on it and I'm only going to get 120 amps. I can go up and down if I want to, controlling it, but we're just going to try it at 120. All right, let's give it a shot. Now 
that's pretty sweet. Very nice. Now remember, we're 120 amps on 110 output power. So we're, that's pretty amazing to me. I mean, nah, that's doing really not really nice job and the, the high freak start on it was pretty nice too that's uh, that's impressive on these now if you're not familiar but machines in this class um, high freak start is kind of a it's a rare thing usually they're all lift arc or scratch start TIG um, so a high freak start is pretty uh, pretty new and very sought after in these smaller units like this now this thing won't do AC or welding any type of AC but DC and DC pulse, um, if that's all you're doing all the time, I think it's an awesome unit. Let's, let's give it another shot. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Now, I like the, on these units, I kind of, some people ask me how I hold the torches since the buttons are on the top. I kind of, I just hold it in my hand so I can control that. I mean, I've seen some people control it with their thumb. I find it just easier just holding it like that in my hand and up, down for power and, and amperage control. Pretty sweet. Now, remember, these are rotatable heads, too. You can rotate them, and then they have a dead stop in the click, so that's all standard from Fronius. Pretty sweet. Now, in another video, I got all the accessories that you can buy. These come out, remember? So we can pull, twist, they come out. Um, so you can buy multiple units. So you can have gas lenses, different nozzles, that sort of thing on these. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet stuff. Um, all in all, I think the unit is just a, it's a monster. For a small package, you got a lot of output. And it's gonna be, a game changer I believe just because of the 110 power we can run 330 feet of extension cord in and still get 120 amps can't beat it can't beat it wish there was AC output but hey we can't have everything so yeah for what it is awesome unit if you have any questions or comments leave them below and one more offer to throw at you so right now Fronius if you register your equipment with them you get a free helmet so a free welding helmet from Fronius and Baker's is going to give you $10 off if you use promo code 210. So get on there, put it to your cart, add promo code 210, you get 10 bucks off, register your machine, you get a free helmet. Can't beat that deal. Thanks again for watching. Um, we'll post all this stuff below. We'll have an item page for this unit and the price at bakersgas.com. Thanks for watching.